Welcome to the fun video time. So, haven't you like hearing enemy AI in a all round movement game? You might be thinking like, hey, let me add it too. And in this video, I am going to be making a project which is going to be so simple and then ta -da, we will make enemy AI. So, let's get started first i'm just going to be using our cat sprite as our player which will be moving as usual and then let me just paint uh, any a big and nice enemy so let me just draw its eyes okay reddish ah. Okay, so that's the best I could make. So we can just start it our player sprite. So let's rename it player. And then let's make its key movement. So let's just add a when green flag click block with the forever loop with four ifs. After you make the four ifs, let's just add our key presses, which is key up, down, left, and right. To so key up, key down, key left, and key right arrow pressed. Then we will just want to change our X by, let's say, 5 for a nice speed. So change x to change y by 5, change y by negative 5, change x by negative 5, and then change x by 5. We can also make it go to x of 0 and y of 0. Okay, we can just shrink its size to be 60% or something. Okay, now for our enemy. Well, as this is an all around movement game, we will want our enemy to like go to our player and then when he touches, game over. So let's just add a when green flag clicked. We'll first wait one second to let our player get ready. Then forever. We will then point towards the direction of player and then we will then also glide one second to player. Okay. So, look at this enemy AI. That looks nice, right? So, as you can see that our enemy is always following us. And then when we go up and down, it will also face up and down. And search the nearest position to the cat. So, that is great. Okay, so how can we add a uh, high score into this, right? Because this now already looks like a game. Well, make a variable called high score. And then we can click OK. Just to note again that if you are a new scratcher, you won't have a cloud variable option and if you're a scratcher you have so in the end of the forever loop let's add the f block for high score being greater than so for timer because you will want the timer right 
high score. Then we'll set high score to timer. Now how to add the use. So to add the you lose, let's go back into enemy sprite and add an if block touching our player. Then we will broadcast a message called you lose. Okay, so after we broadcast the you lose, when I receive the you lose message will come in. And then in the backdrops, let's add a kind of big enemy. So, a big enemy. Which is going to be very big. And saying... Got you. And then let's just make it a fill of red. And then make it to marker. Got you. Okay. So great. Let's just add a normal blank backdrop. So in the player sprite. Let's add a... When I receive you lose, I will hide my player. And then in the when green flag clicked, I will switch backdrop to backdrop 2. In the enemy, when I receive you lose, hide. And then I'll switch costume to backdrop 1. And also for the enemy, I will show. Okay, so look at this fantastic game. If you like this game, please like and subscribe. And then until next time, the punch video time is out. Who look? at this fantastic game. Bye and see you in the next tutorial.